Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to another five minute uh, tip in Photoshop. Today we're gonna be doing some forced perspective where we're combining two different images that have some similar colors but they're not related at all. And we're gonna blend them together in Photoshop to make it look like a very interesting, surreal type of picture. So I've got this picture right here of the beach. Uh, this was taken off of unsplash.com. So you're welcome to download that picture off of Unsplash. And uh, just bring it into your project and we'll just make sure it is the right size. This is gonna be a pretty uh, much of a vertical image here. So I'm gonna make sure that we size it down uh, the way we want it. Now, I like this picture of the beach because uh, it's the very top of it. It's taken from a balcony, but the very top of it, it's got this nice uh, teal color, this this uh, turquoise blue color, and it's uh, very homogenous here, and it's going to be very easy to blend when we have a picture like this. So now that we have the beach, we need to add another image that's completely unrelated to this one. And so if you just go to unsplash.com and you type in the word blue, uh, for example, you'll get a lot of different images. And I found this one right here, which I thought looked pretty good. Uh, it's just a picture of a wall um, outside of a building with a window and some flowers. And I thought that looked pretty good. So I'm gonna bring this in. I'm actually gonna bring it uh, below our uh, beach picture, and I'm just gonna size it up the way I want it to, something kind of like this. Now we have both of our images, which are pl completely unrelated. There's there's no uh, relationship between uh, these two pictures, uh, other than the fact that the bottom part of this image is nice and blue, it's homogenous, there's not a lot of detail here, and that's the same way with the beach picture. But the colors do, don't match, and so that's what we'll do in the next. All right, so to get the colors to match, you really need to pick one of these layers and work on it uh, individually. So I'm gonna work on this wall picture and we wanna make these blues turn into more of a turquoise type color or teal type color. So I'm just gonna do a selective color and clip it to that wall image. I'm gonna go to my blue channel here and I'm just gonna try to bring in some cyans. I'm gonna take out some magentas maybe add some yellows, and I'm trying to turn this blue, this rich blue color, into more of a teal color. Uh, so you can go to your cyans and play around with that as well. Um, the selective color is really effective in uh, doing that. Now, once you play around it with long enough, you're gonna have a, uh, a wall blue color here that's gonna match the blue color um, on the beach as well. So once you have that, then we can start uh, doing some layer masking and to blend these two together. So now that you have both of the, the colors are matching up pretty well, what you want to do is go to your beach image and then make a layer mask. And then we'll just take a gradient uh, tool here and we're just going to uh, feather out uh, this building right here. So I'm just gonna drag a gradient uh, tool right here on my mask and that's going to uh, feather that out pretty well. Um, and so now that, that wall texture is blending in with the um, the ocean texture as well. So then the, the last little adjustment I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go down with a white brush and just paint right over top of these people because I wanna make sure that they're not being blended in with the texture. Um, so I'm just gonna make sure I paint in uh, some white right here um, over top of their bodies so they're nice and sharp and it looks like they're in the water and they're not on this wall right here. Uh, but that's really all you have to do, just a layer mask. Um, uh, right here with a gradient map. And so now you have this blue going to this blue. It looks very seamless and that's a good composite. Now guys, once you get to this point, you're pretty much done with your project. What I would do at this point is start to do some color grading on top of it. Um, so I would do a selective color, make sure that we're on top of all of the layers. I'd go to my cyan channel and then I would actually, you know, this is up to you, but you can make those blues any kind of uh, blue that you want it to. So if you want to bring it more back to that type of color, uh, you can. Uh, if you want to go to these uh, flowers up here and make them a little bit more yellow or red, you can do that. Uh, but really at this point, you're just adjusting the colors. Uh, you've done all of the hard work. That's really all you have to do if you want to do a nice forced perspective image. Just find two images that have similar colors. They don't have to be exact. But uh, on the top or the bottom of the images where you're going to blend them together, make sure they're somewhat similar uh, and then use your selective color to make the colors match and then use a mask and then you're all done. It's really fun to do. I hope that you uh, try this out on your own and I can't wait to see what you guys can create.